Do you want to know how to use a HANA calcium checker? This is probably the most convoluted and easiest to mess up HANA checker there is. To start off, we're going to need two sample cups. One of those sample cups needs to be RODI water. Not distilled water, not tap water, not salt water. It needs to be 100% RODI water. And then we're going to need a small sample of salt water. We're going to start by taking one milliliter of reagent A. Use the nozzle that comes with the test kit and then you're gonna to wanna to pull the plunger up to where it says one milliliter. You're gonna notice that there's no reagent inside of the syringe, that's perfectly fine. Put that reagent A into the test tube, and then we're gonna use the RODI water to fill up the test tube the rest of the way to the 10 milliliter mark. This is how it should look inside of the test tube. Insert the cap and then give it a shake, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you clean the test tube. Make sure the HANA checker says C1, insert the test tube, and then press the button. Now inside the kit, you're also gonna have this syringe. When you go to take a sample of your salt water, press it down to this point. That's where it should naturally stop. When you go to put the salt water sample into the syringe, press the syringe down all the way. This ensures that the whole sample went into the test tube. Take the reagent B and get all of the reagent into the corner where my thumb was. Cut the packet on the dotted lines. And to make the reagent easier to pour, put a crease in the packet like this. Pour the packet into the test tube, make sure that all of the reagent dissolves, and then you're gonna to wanna to clean the test tube again. Insert the test tube into the HANA checker the same way that you did before. Press the button, and then after a short period of time, you should have your reading. If this helped you out, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it.